Is that okay? University got federal funding to study two different therapies for a form of vision loss called retinitis pigmentosa. The results were eye-opening. One day I could read a book, the next day I couldn't even see the text in the book. In 1997, Tammy Green went in for LASIK surgery and wound up being diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa, or RP, a condition that leads to vision loss. My central vision is pretty much gone. Um, and I have some peripheral islands of sight on the sides. An acupuncturist in her hometown in Kentucky suggested Tammy consider alternative therapies. That's when she learned of a unique study at Nova Southeastern University. This is the only site, and so I had over a third of the participants coming in from out of state. NSU researchers designed a randomized placebo-controlled trial to see if either acupuncture or transcorneal electrical stimulation would improve RP. Several of the patients who underwent one treatment or the other did see improvement. Those who got the sham treatments saw no improvement at all. Uh, Ultrasound measurements also showed significant improvement in the two groups who underwent the real treatments. That was encouraging to find not only changes in vision, but also these physiological changes of mechanism occurring to support the vision changes. Tammy says the area where she did have some vision has been enhanced, and some of her central vision has now returned. Now, the first study was a small one, just 21 participants. NSU is applying for funding, though, for a larger scale study to look at not only if these therapies can improve vision loss, but possibly prevent it in patients diagnosed with RP. Researchers say the therapies do need to be repeated in order to maintain that improvement. With your health news, I'm Christy Krueger, Local 10 News.